Um, actually, maybe come on this side. Okay, so we're going to do some very simple chi gurk, basic chi gurk to teach if you've never done chi gurk or if you'd like to just double check your chi gurk. This bump on the outside of the ankle is called the external malleolus. Both partners will come close enough so that their arms are on each other's shoulders, which you can't see from there. But you want to come so your ankle bone is against his ankle bone. And let me have you actually uh, tilt the camera up a minute to catch this part, please, Scott. Okay. Just lift it up. Okay, you can see us here. Okay, so we're about this far apart from each other. Our hips need to face each other. This isn't an exercise done like this. It's not easy to do. Are you seeing the hips, Scott? Mm. Yeah, move slowly when you move, please. So we don't want our hips turned off like this. We want our hips facing this way, which means it's not an easy exercise. You're constantly fighting to control the space because there's not quite enough of it for everybody. Back up to the arms and the shoulders. We're this far apart here, and we don't want to lean back like that. We want to be straight up and down, sinking on our other leg, and our arms are here. So now, as we go down and take a picture from a little lower, what's going to happen is the younger brother or the student will follow the Sifu or the older Kung Fu brother up, trying to maintain contact, and then down. And up, and down. Then later, after we get to we're pretty comfortable with that, what we want to do is to establish a force of connection. Not one that pushes the other person around, not one that tells everywhere you are, but one that allows you to uh, control and, and be in contact with the other individual for the further exercises more advanced stuff. So here we go up and we're going to race down and you want to try and come down and take the space and pull the other person essentially off guard by having taken the space. This is a little more advanced to do it that way. So you come up and race down. You can see that he kind of tilted his body backward a little bit. Even if you couldn't see it, you could almost feel it from seeing what happens with the leg. And now we're gonna come up, down. We could do it on both sides, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up. Now I'm gonna put a little pressure on him and see what he does. And then when I come down, I've essentially caused him to lose his horse and lose his connection so he doesn't know where he is. And then I'll show a more advanced application of what this is all about soon. So up, I give a little push. He wants to try to bring me back, he didn't. I end up on his other foot and then I'm kind of controlling him and that's not the ideal. We can also do it opposite foot to opposite foot. Do it this way, if we do it this way, when we come up, my foot goes out, my knee goes out, his knee goes in and down. Now what happens when he doesn't meet me on the way down? Here we go, where I come down sooner or where he's trying real hard to meet me and I take him off like that, see? So I'm controlling him. Okay, that's enough for now except what we're gonna do is We'll go ahead and show an application where he goes ahead, step back just a hair, and when you step in, take your left and go ahead and strike and step in with your, with your kick. I kind of catch him, control him, turn him, and, and rule the space. That isn't Kung Fu fighting. These are components of what creates a great Kung Fu fighter. He kicks with the other one, comes in. That was an exaggeration. The point is it teaches you to sensitize your legs, to learn to control the space, to learn how to turn on and off your energy, to learn how to press and create running situations, for instance, where I, I come here and I push and then he pushes back hard and then I maybe can run around. It's not ideal, but it gives an example of it. We'll try it with the other leg. He comes in and I push and he wants to run or he wants to turn. But go ahead and push back and then maybe I step back. So the point is to learn to establish connection and then to learn no matter what kind of kick comes at you. And in another short video that hopefully is less digressive than this, in another short video, which will follow after this, we will do the bong tom and fuk in the legs and how those work together, choosing which one to use when you're connecting and intercepting a kick. That's it, we'll see how it came out. Keep those bizarre comments coming.